no more wires, no more attachment to your face, to your ears, to be free, to be free of everything. Focused audio is the next level of directional audio, where audio content is played directly in your ears without wearing any device, even as you're moving around. Demonstrated by Noveto Systems as early as CES 2018, this year at CES 2019, we expect to see a better performing demonstration of such parametric speakers along with the scope of actual devices being launched with focused audio. Amazing, so futuristic. These are only some of the reactions we got for a new technology, the virtual headphones. We developed the capability to deliver the sound to your ears as if you have headphones, but we know headphones. Headphones and earphones supporting Qualcomm's Aptex Adaptive Codec will start showing up in the market in 2019. This codec can vastly improve Bluetooth audio quality with compression ratios ranging from 5 is to 1 up to 10 is to 1 without losing backwards compatibility. What makes this interesting is that it is designed to automatically adjust to provide optimum audio quality or latency depending on what content is being played on the device while also taking into account the external RF environment to help robustness. After in-display fingerprint sensors became mainstream in 2018, in-display speakers will be showcased by display manufacturers early in 2019, and the technology will hit the smartphone and TV markets in the latter half of 2019. Samsung is planning to use piezoelectric actuators and they are calling it sound on display. It will probably come with the Galaxy Note 10 in the fall of 2019. TDK has demonstrated their version of the same earlier this year. Dynamic audio ads refer to specific ads that take into account information about you, like the day of the week, the music you're listening to, your location, etc. on streaming services when they serve an ad to you. So Pandora has already rolled this out and we will see more free to use ad powered streaming services follow suit. This will go something like Hi Digit, it's another sunny wetness day in Mumbai. Have a cold latte from XYZ on your way to work. The International Olympic Committee has the honor of announcing that the games of the 32nd Olympiad in 2020 are awarded to the city of Tokyo. Yeah! While its initial mainstream launch was with the Pixel Buds, real-time translation in wireless earbuds will be finally usable in 2019. While real-time translation from Google is available on all assistant-powered headphones, the next set of updates might see specific improvements or features for the Pixel Buds. Also expect companion apps for upcoming true wireless earbuds to come with this feature. While 2018 was the year for every major and minor brand to dip their hand into the truly wireless earbud honeypot, 2019 will see them refine their offerings in terms of battery life and connectivity, which are the two major pain points of this category. We are expecting to see an upgrade for the AirPods with the AirPods 2 with features like noise cancellation, Siri support, biometric measurements and more. We could even see these features being divided between the AirPods 2 and 3, with 3 slated to launch late 2019 or even early 2020. Alongside this, we could see Samsung launch the Samsung Buds, which they have recently patented, as well as first-gen earbuds from Google and Amazon. As rumors surface of the last headphone jacks on popular smartphones disappearing in 2019, developments of new and better USB-C headphones from Samsung and, and LG might give the technology some much needed support on the audio front. OnePlus and Xiaomi have launched their USB-C headphones earlier in 2018. On the other hand, most brands might go with the wireless audio choice in which case, USB-C audio might be a lost cause in terms of quality. While Aptex Adaptive will start entering the market, 
aptX itself will become the lowest common denominator for any wireless audio device looking to make a mark in 2019. Since aptX adaptive devices will also be backwards compatible, audio manufacturers might launch uh, some cheaper aptX alternatives to more expensive aptX adaptive devices slated to launch around summer 2019.